Well, everybody's heard the news by now, I'm sure, but uh, former UGA head coach, former Miami Hurricanes head coach, former quarterback coach and offensive coordinator under Bobby Bowden at Florida State, Mark Richt uh, announced yesterday he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And this is just terrible news. I mean, you know, for all the obvious reasons. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all human beings here. And regardless of what anybody thinks about someone's ability to do their job uh, or whatever, you don't wish this kind of thing on anybody. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm most known for making a lot of anti-Mark Rick videos during his last year in Athens, 2015. But what people don't know or don't remember is that there really wasn't a bigger Mark Rick cheerleader prior to 2015 than me. Now, there was a lot of Georgia fans that wanted him gone way back in 2008. I've got videos going all the way back to 2013 when I started my channel and 2014. Uh, you know, in full support of Mark Rick. That just 2015 was just a straw that broke the camel's back for me. But whether people uh, wanted him fired or not, whether they liked him as a coach or not, You've never heard anybody say one bad word about the man, Mark Richt, including me. Um, in, <laughs> in fact, you know, maybe one of the most famous criticisms I had of Mark Rick was that he was too nice, if that's such a thing. Um, he's a great guy. I mean, what, what can you say? And honestly, he was a great coach. He was a great coach. Um, he was sort of a victim of his own success at the end. You know, he got Georgia to a certain place and sort of hovered there for too long. Um, won a couple of SEC titles early on in Athens, you know, 2002, 2005, wins the SEC. Never able to win it again. Uh, and so after 10 years of that, you know, I, I agreed that it was time to go in a different direction. That's not the point of this video. I don't want to rehash all that. Um, I, I just say all that to say that it, as hard as I was on Mark Richt in the end and as hard as some of the other Georgia fans were on him at different times, nobody didn't like Mark Richt. Mark Richt doesn't have any enemies. He's just one of those guys. My dad is that way. But Lord knows I'm not that way. I, I've got a, you know, uh, th th there's a line of people hating Uncle Lou from here to East Jabib. Um, you won't find anybody that hates Mark Richt. You won't find anybody that doesn't like Mark Richt, the man, Mark Richt the person, Mark Rick, the father, the husband. And, you know, when it comes to news like this, that's what he is. It, this isn't a football coach diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. This is a father, uh, you know, a son, a husband, you know, a uh, beloved member of the Athens community, which is where he's been back living for the last two years in Athens, Georgia. We all probably know somebody either personally or through uh, the, the news or whatever that has had Parkinson's disease. And there's been some famous cases, you know, Muhammad Ali, more recently, Michael J. Fox. You know, I, I don't know what's going to, I don't know the diagnosis or the prognosis. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert on Parkinson's disease, and I'm not going to get on here and pretend to be, but science and medicine have come a long way. They continue to go a long way year after year. And, uh, you know, all we can do is hope the best for Mark Richt and his family. Um, you know, hope they caught it early. You know, hope they can get the, the medicine or the whatever that he needs to slow this thing down. And hopefully, you know, uh, we can find a cure for this thing. But this is just terrible news all the way around. I mean, you know, you hate, you hate to see this. Um, you know, when he made the announcement yesterday, he did say that he was going to continue to work at the ACC Network this season. I guess that will be a season-to-season -season decision now that he makes based on, you know, his, his overall condition, which, like I said, I hope he's able to keep that job for the next 5, 10, 15 years or as long as he wants it. You know, he's no spring chicken, but he's not old by today's standards either. He's 61, 62 years old, something like that. I think he was 40 when Georgia hired him as a head coach, and that was 21 years ago. So he's, he's about 61 now. So, you know, he could live another 20, 25, 30 years, hopefully, or more.
Um, and, and obviously that's what we all hope. But uh, I talked about this a little bit on the call-in show last night, and I talked about it a little bit this morning on the morning show, but I know not everybody watches those live shows, and I had a lot of comments today in the comment section and, and a couple of emails and Twitter messages and all that asking me, you know, if I'd heard the news on Mark Richter, what my thoughts were on, on Mark Richter, whatever. So I figured I would just make a quick video, uh, you know, and at least acknowledge, um, acknowledge that, um, you know, enough time has gone by now from the Mark Richter era where I can look back on the Richter era and appreciate it, uh, for the, for, for the good that came of it. I mean, he, he took Georgia from barely a top 25 program at the time. You know, Jim Donovan was the coach before him. And we had a couple of good seasons in the late 90s. Um, and, and 2000 was a pretty, you know, decent season. But Rick definitely elevated the program from where it was at when he took over um, and positioned it to where Kirby has it. Now, and I'm not going to get into a comparison between Rick and Kirby. That's not the point of this video, Joe. You know, Georgia was wherever they were before they hired Rick, and when Rick left, they were somewhere higher than that. That that's that's all that matters. Uh, that that's the only point. So I, I can appreciate what he did for UGA, and again, I wish nothing but the best uh, for him and his family. Hope you guys have a good Fourth of July weekend. Enjoy the holiday. Be safe out there, and I'll talk to you again soon. Have a good morning.